Hello everyone. Welcome to Facts You Need to Know channel, a place to share interesting stories of countries around the world. Welcome to your journey to a country in Southeast Asia, a country known as the Land of Thousand Islands. It's the country of Indonesia. Indonesia is the full name of the Republic of Indonesia. The country owns more than 18,000 islands of different sizes. Not only is it endowed with a rich flora and fauna ecosystem, this distribution also creates a unique feature of Indonesia, when this culture is formed by more than 300 different ethnic groups. Now, let's find out interesting things about this land of thousands islands. Indonesia is an archipelagic country located in Southeast Asia, between the Asian continent and Oceania, connecting the Indian Ocean with the Pacific Ocean. The country has a total area of 1,922,570 square kilometers and has a coastline of 54,716 kilometers, making Indonesia the second longest coastline in the world after Canada, an extremely large country. With this area, Indonesia is the largest country in Southeast Asia. The country shares a border with Malaysia to the north, East Timor and Papua New Guinea to the east, and Australia to the south. To travel from the two furthest points of this country, North Sumatra and West Papua, it takes more than 12 hours of flight. Indonesia's capital Jakarta is one of the country's most famous cities. The capital is located on the northwest coast of Java, at the mouth of the Siliwang River, which empties into Jakarta Bay. Home to 9 million Indonesians, Jakarta is also an extremely suitable place for virtual life enthusiasts. The popular social media site Instagram once revealed that, the city of Jakarta is home to the most virtual live photos in Asia and ranks 8th in the world. Jakarta is also famous for traffic jams, and Indonesia once had the idea of moving its capital to another location, to solve traffic jams. Known as the land of thousands of islands, the territory of Indonesia is formed by 17,508 to 18,306 different large and small islands. Why are there these disparities? Because when it comes to statistics, size and normality in terms of size can bring about different numbers of islands, including famous islands such as Sumatra, Java, and Bali. Currently in Indonesia there are still many unnamed islands, the government is in the process of searching and naming them. With the equator crossing the middle of the territory, Indonesia has an average temperature of about 25 to 27 degrees Celsius, and no winter. The Indonesian coastline is mainly low plains, inland with a lot of mountains, and tropical forests accounting for two-thirds of the territory. Indonesia has a typical tropical monsoon climate, with two distinct rainy and dry seasons. The hot and humid rainy season lasts from November to April next year. The hot and dry season is from May to the end of October. The national flag of Indonesia has a ratio of 2 to 3. There are two main colors, red and white. Red symbolizes courage and white symbolizes spirit. This flag was officially used on the day Indonesia declared independence, in August 17, 1945. Now, we will come to the history, culture, people, and interesting things about this land of thousands islands. Currently, Indonesia is also one of the most populous countries in the world, with a population of 273.8 million people. It is a multi-ethnic, multi-faith country with 87% Muslims, 7% Protestants, 1.7% Hindus and 0.7% Buddhists. Indonesia is also the largest home for Muslims, accounting for 12% of all Muslims globally. Indonesia is a country with a young population and abundant labor resources, with 165 million people under 30 years old, while only 8% of Indonesia's population is over 60 years old. Diverse in ethnicity, diverse in beliefs, people live on many different islands, so Indonesia has a lot of languages. According to statistics, Indonesia has about 700 different languages. Bahasa Indonesia is the national language used in schools and state-owned enterprises, as well as the media. However, there are many indigenous languages, and even people living on two islands next to each other, may not even understand each other's languages. Referring to a major economy in the top 20 in the world, and in Southeast Asia, many people may think of Singapore, Malaysia or Thailand, but it's all wrong. Indonesia is the largest economy in Southeast Asia, the 16th largest economy in the world, with a GDP of $1.060 billion in 2020. That's the economy, but when you break these numbers down, 
Indonesia's per capita income is only $4,256 per person per year. Out of the top 100 in the world. What do Indonesians eat? Because it is an Islamic country, it is certainly difficult to find dishes made from pork in Indonesia. Instead, local people prefer dishes such as lamb, beef, chicken and seafood. The dishes in Indonesia are usually quite spicy and hot. Rice is the main food in daily meals. Because Indonesia is located on the Pacific Volcanic Belt, it's the third largest volcanic country on the planet, after the US and Russia. There are a total of 150 volcanoes, of which 127 are believed to be still active, which also causes a lot of anxiety and insecurity for the Indonesian people. This is where one of the most horrific eruptions in more than a century occurred. The story is that in 1883, the famous volcanic island of Krakatau between Java and Sumatra erupted, causing two huge tsunamis that killed more than 36,000 people, destroying 165 coastal villages. It's said that the sound emanating from the erupting volcano is considered the loudest sound ever heard. The explosion was detected more than 4,600 kilometers away and over one thirteenth of the Earth's surface area. Ash from this explosion fell on Singapore more than 800 kilometers to the north, falling on Cocos Island more than 1,100 kilometers to the southwest. Indonesia's Sunda Strait was in darkness for about 20 hours and had tsunamis of more than 40 meters. Indonesia is the home of the world's largest volcanic lake. Lake Toba is the largest natural volcanic lake on the planet. It's located inside a supervolcano in northern Sumatra. The lake was formed after an eruption that occurred about 75,000 years ago. The lake is now located in the middle of the plateau, with a length of 100 kilometers and a width of 30 kilometers, about 900 meters above sea level. Toba Lake is cool and fresh all year round and is known as the Jade on the island of Sumatra. Despite being a Muslim country, Indonesia owns the world's largest Buddhist relic temple. It was Borobudur, the Buddhist wonder built in the 9th century. The site is 42 kilometers north of central Java. The name of this place name in Indonesian means Buddha Tower on a High Hill. The pagoda has nine floors stacked on top of each other. This pagoda is decorated with 2,672 carved reliefs and 504 Buddha statues. The top dome alone is surrounded by 72 Buddha statues. Despite its monumental size, this temple was abandoned in the 13th century. When Arab traders brought Islam into Indonesia, within about 200 years, almost the people of the Indonesian archipelago had converted to Islam. After World War II, Indonesia was aware of the importance of this temple. This country invited many archaeologists around the world to study, and asked UNESCO to help restore this relic. There have been a total of nearly 30 different countries around the world, joining hands with Indonesia to restore this Buddhist temple. This restoration program cost about $17 million at the time of 1991. It has been officially recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. When it comes to Indonesia, we cannot help but mention the island of Bali. Indonesia's tourist paradise. Bali includes the island of Bali and several other nearby islands. Bali Island covers an area of nearly 6,000 square kilometers and has a population of more than 4 million people. It's Indonesia's main tourist destination and has played an extremely important role in the country's economic development since the 1980s of the last century. Bali is famous for its green beaches, white sands stretching under the bright sun, sacred ancient temples and unique architecture, vast green terraces and traditional Indonesian villages. Bali is a mixture of pure wild beauty as well as the culture of Indo. This is one of the islands that attracts the largest number of tourists in the world. Have you ever heard of the presence of dragons? Yes, that's Komodo Island. Indonesia's Komodo Island is the origin of the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard in the world and closely related to dinosaurs. Komodo dragon is quite dangerous, because it is a carnivore and can eat human flesh. Currently, according to estimates by the World Animal Organization, there are about 6,000 Komodo dragons living in Indonesia's Komodo National Park. However, the planet's only dragon is also facing extinction, because of gender imbalance and shrinking living conditions. But again, calling it Komodo dragon. But in fact, it is just a giant lizard. 
This is also the end of the story of the land of thousand of islands. It has the most islands on the planet. Thank you for following this story. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Now goodbye and see you in the next sections.